Teachers at Whangarei Boys High School worked with Team Solutions facilitators to develop a more relational and reciprocal focus to their teaching, creating classroom environments where students and their teachers work collaboratively to develop their understanding of new ideas. We identified that we had a number of students who were uh, not achieving as highly as we wanted to, and we identified that the relationship between the student and the teacher was particularly important in this field. From a relational point of view, um, it was really important to encourage the staff to give a little bit more of themselves, so every staff member uh, has their own pipiha that they um, use for their classes when they meet them. We talk about getting to know the student, not just the boy who's sitting in front of you, but where they come from, who they're connected to, um, what their local knowledge is, what their New Zealand knowledge is, so that we are uh, learning mutually from each other. The student-teacher bond and the dynamic between students and teachers has changed a whole lot over the years. Um, I feel that it's more so being that well, the teacher is higher than the student is completely changed now that we're all equal and it's more mutual. I mean, when I was younger, I was afraid of some of my teachers because I didn't want to go up and ask for help because I felt that I would get put down because I don't know. But now it's just that, that level has changed. It's more that I feel more comfortable asking my teachers for help and talking to them. They're more student-centric. So when we're walking into a class, they're not standing up at the front of the class drawing on the boards. They're sitting with the student and teaching the class from there. They're more open to roam around and help others instead of sitting at a desk and expecting the students to come up to them. They like to feel as if we're all one class, not divided into little groups. That your smart ones, the ones that don't want to learn. The teachers are pushing for everyone. It's more relatable to younger students. There's not a um, difference between like a teacher and a student. There is like that personal level that makes it a lot easier to relate to the teacher and makes it easier for the teacher to teach us and for us to be learning from our teachers. In terms of other changes that we've noticed around the school, um, we were in a situation where we had a high stand down suspension and exclusion rate um, for Māori boys. And again, that was um, an unacceptable status quo to be uh, moving forward with. So what we're seeing is, uh, unsurprisingly, as students have become more engaged in their learning, their behaviour changes around the classroom, and that a relational approach rather than a punitive approach has paid dividends um, to changing those statistics. So we're in a much better place um, going forward um, with managing behaviour. Part of the work we've done with Kiki Panaku is around uh, surveying our, our boys and our um, parent community and they've come back year on year to say, you know, with improvements in those spaces about how it feels to be Māori at this school, that um, the boys have every opportunity they need to succeed, um, right down to, you know, how are you, how are you finding lessons, how are you relating to your teachers, and we're seeing a steady improvement. The great thing about that is there's a direct correlation between what, what the boys are telling us, what the families are telling us, what the staff are telling us, and what the results are telling us. Chase, my son, yeah, he's definitely made a change from when he first started. He actually at one point said, oh, I don't know, you know, I find some of the teachers don't understand us or um, I find that they don't, they're don't. they not more encouraging to the Māori students when he first started, but the difference now, especially encouraging them for their um, academic achievement, that's been a really good one. It's really helped Chase think differently that I can do it, um, and thus supporting him. You know, when he does a, an assignment and they encourage him, oh, look, for you to get a, a better grade, do this. And he's like, oh, right. And so they're getting alongside, I think, more encouraging and give him a little bit more self-worth that you can do it. Um, we tend to have the mindset sometimes that uh, us as Māori, we're not going to make it or we're not going to do well. But... Um, over that time, he's seen a difference too, you know, through our conversations that we've had. Oh, they're a little bit more encouraging, you know, a lot more respectful. Um, they're starting to understand us well, and that's a conversation that he's had with me, you know, because I always ask him that stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's made a big impact on him, and he's off to university next year. Yeah, to study. I'm excited. <laughs>